This year, we've seen more consumer financial anxiety than ever before. While many consumers binge on Netflix and haagen what they really crave is financial expertise to help them feel secure about their future. Consumers used to get this information from physical branches. Some younger demographics expect their phones to be the way to get stuff done. For all groups, however, the altered landscape has created greater dependency on digital financial services. Many financial institutions are leading the charge. The number of features offered to consumer, consumers on modern financial apps has exploded in recent years. These digital services both replicate traditional physical operations, but also change the basis of competition, leveling up from basic transactions to account opening to new personalized tools to engage consumers in, uh, on improving their financial health. Yodley's new insight solution is the uh, solution to quickly get a hyper-personalized product to users today. By integrating insights into your financial experiences, users can compare spending to their peers, project spending and balances into the future, and also discover ways to save money by taking simple actions like canceling subscriptions or altering spending habits at a particular merchant. This new service will help drive consumer engagement with your apps, increasing net promoter scores, retention rates, and offering a differentiated way to compete in the market. And you, the financial institution, will be able to segment customers by geolocation, income, spending habits, and more. Using this data, you could find customers at risk and provide customized assistance, or tailor a targeted marketing campaign based on customers' needs, driving incremental revenue. So let's jump in and show you what it looks like. Our demo for you today is an app we've built that sits on top of our new Insights APIs. Because Insights is API-based, financial service providers can deliver experiences through any existing business channel, be it a website, client portal, email service, messaging service, or more. All that you need is Yodley's comprehensive financial data network that covers banking, credit, lending, and wealth, plus our market-leading data enrichment services. For demo purposes, we've already added a bank account for our user. From our login page, we'll be signing in as Ashley. The product has three main components. Views, which show up here on the dashboard when you first log into the app. Insights, which you can access using the notification icon down at the bottom of the screen. And finally, peer benchmarking, which is a unique feature you'll find within certain individual insights themselves, as well as within views. We'll talk more about that later. Well, let's go back to views and show you what they are. As you can see, Ashley has set up three views. She wants to track her monthly spending for bills, dining and groceries, and subscriptions. Ashley is 25 and, like many, has been keeping a closer eye on her spending this year. She wants to stay financially healthy and she knows she needs to trim some unnecessary expenses to align her spending with her priorities. If she taps on subscriptions, she can see her monthly spending broken down for the past three months, as well as her peer benchmarks related to subscriptions. Here showing that she's spending about $100 more on Amazon subscriptions than her peers. It becomes obvious to Ashley that she has a disproportionate number of entertainment subscriptions. Here we can see that she has Netflix, Hulu, Sirius Radio, uh, Spotify, and more. In our customer focus groups, managing subscriptions was a general pain point even before the pandemic. So because of the app's ability to track subscriptions and make these peer comparisons, Ashley makes a mental note to take a closer look at her entertainment spending. Ashley's been practically living on Amazon, and because of her frequent visits to the site, she's been consuming nightly movies there. She realizes she can create a new view just for Amazon and see what her spending looks like. So she taps on plus, then she taps on merchants. We can see note, we can see Amazon has several of its operations listed. So she decides to tap on all Amazon services to get a full view of this spending. This next screen is where she can set rules for the view. You'll see the apps already pulled in all of her Amazon transactions in the top right corner. And then the four lines here allow her to add more rules to this view. The first one is for accounts. This is a great option for people with kids that do all their spending from different accounts for their kids. You can easily differentiate a different view for each, uh, each kid. Ashley can also set a purchase price if she wants to only view larger purchases or even set up geolocation for perhaps tracking her spending on her last weekend getaway. So she hits next and then she names the view. And you can see here, she also has the option to add a monthly budget. And then finally on this screen, the app allows her to trigger all the different insights specifically for this view that she just created. This allows for the hyper-customization that we mentioned earlier. Ashley will leave them all on for now and tap done. You can see that the view now shows in the dashboard. And in the view, Ashley will be able to see her monthly spending and again, how it compares to her peers. 
A bit more on these peer comparisons. Uh, we base them on a predictive model of Ashley's income and geolocation. We use these predictions to select a specific cohort for Ashley out of a continuously updating data set over 4 million users in all 50 states. And then within that cohort, we're able to compare things like merchant and category spending, account balances, credit usage, and net worth. So Ashley sees she's spending about $150 more than her peers on Amazon video rentals. She views this as another red flag. And then when she's able to scroll down and look at her transactions, she sees multiple movie rentals and discovers an obvious way to economize. Each view has its own set of unique insights that the user can customize any way she wants. For example, Ashley can customize how often she wants these scheduled spending by category insights sent. So let's look at another of, Ash, uh, of Ashley's views that she set up, this time for dining and grocery. She taps into dining and groceries, and we can see this view has been set up with a budget. As you can see, she previously budgeted $1,800 for a month, and she has $1,200 left to spend. In order to eat a little healthier, Ashley decides to apply the savings from canceling those entertainment subscriptions to her groceries budget, and so she increases her budget by 100 bucks. Another way Ashley could have discovered the excess in her entertainment spending would be to use the app's one-click setup here we see at the bottom of the, the dashboard screen. The option Ashley sees here in the one-click setup are based on a recommendation service that suggests personalized views, all based on Ashley's transaction history. So Ashley taps entertainment, and then she can see she has 30 transactions, so she just decides to create the view. Once she creates it, it'll automatically populate on our dashboard. And again, it'll show her all of her entertainment spending and all the insights that come with it. Insights lets you create an unlimited number of these views into your finances. You can set up views to track vacation expenses, income from a side business, or spending on college expenses for your kids. Now let's talk more about the insights themselves. Ash's insights feed shows all of her insights. These insights relate to everything in her financial life, accounts, views, or even goals and budgets that she's created using Yodley's budget and goal thin app. Let's look into one of these account insights. This one is spending by category, and we can see it includes peer benchmarks across all the categories where Ashley has transactions. Peer benchmarks are updated monthly and integrated throughout insights. So for Ashley, they can help her have a reality check on her spending habits during what could be a financially stressful period. This is a surprisingly powerful motivator for taking action and propelling users towards a healthier path to financial wellness. To manage your insights, Ashley is able to tap into the user account screen where she can see all the ways user, that insights are generated. Financial service providers can pick and choose the insights that they offer, which accounts, views, budgets, and goals that are included, and they can also set defaults for the user. Finally, they can also allow the user to override their defaults and customize them as they want. You've seen today how Investment Yodley's insights can enable you to create simple, user-friendly, hyper-personalized products to help people on their financial wellness journeys and allow them to make these peer comparisons. Because this is an API-first solution, you can customize the entire experience within your existing business channels. In addition, all of our wellness applications can be found within our well-known InvestNet Money Guide MyBlock store. At InvestNet Yodley, we not only want to provide you with industry-leading, open banking-ready data aggregation, we also want to combine it with powerful intelligence that enables you to create meaningful experiences with customers that will drive loyalty and retention. We hope to speak to you about insights soon. Please stop by our virtual booth to learn more, and please vote for us for Best in Show. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. So a couple of questions for you since we've got some time here. First one is a simple one. How should people get started if they're interested in learning more? Sure, anyone that wants to learn more can go to yodley.com and simply click Start Now, and uh, this will request a follow-up from our sales team, and we can set up a demo for you if interested. Awesome, sounds simple enough. So my next question is around this peer benchmark or peer benchmarking feature and how that works. Obviously a lot depends on that. So can you unpack that a little bit more for me? Yeah, sure. Uh, peer benchmarks are based on transactional data that uh, we get across several different financial institutions. Um, we analyze these transactions in real time using our machine learning uh, enrichment process. And this helps us group users into uh, groups that have common characteristics. Um, we also have predictive models that can be used to estimate geolocation and income, uh, or this can be directly fed from the financial institution. Uh, users also have the option of creating custom cohorts for their peer benchmarks if they're interested. Okay, great. And so last one, um, do we have to use your UI or can it be based on a current experience that we're already offering? No, Insights is an API solution, so it can really be built into any experience. Um, we're happy to think through ways you can integrate this into, into your various experiences. Uh, again, just reach out to us on our team at yodley.com, 
and we'll start the conversation.